Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and uh, this is going to be a personal prophecy for Gloria and uh, just uh, doing a few details. Um, so first of all, before I start, I'll just uh, dedicate this to the Lord and uh, we'll see how we go. So dear Father, I pray that you'd give me the words uh, for uh, Gloria and uh, you'd uh, encourage her, inspire her, lift her up and bless her through what I have to say. Okay, amen. So, Gloria, um, I see um, I see your life, it, it seems to have one struggle after another and um, you seem to uh, be struggling and um, you seem to struggle quite a bit and um, I know that I struggle and I've got a mental illness and um, uh, it causes me uh, hassle, it was caused me hassle last night and um, we just have to uh, know the promises of Jesus, we've got to know the promises in the Bible and we've got to declare the promises of God over ourselves that um, through struggle we learn and we get uh, more character and we develop in our fruit and um, so um, I pray that uh, you have strength uh, through these times and uh, that uh, you'll be blessed and uh, the Lord would uh, show his favour uh, on your life and uh, I pray for a release of favour over your life that uh, your life would see blessing and everything that you touch would seem to work out and uh, whatever you touch uh, would turn to gold like the Midas uh, touch it says in Psalm 1 verse 3 whatever he does prospers and I pray uh, for that uh, anointing of your life that um, favor would come upon your life like it was on Joseph's life uh, a coat of many colors Joseph I pray the favor of Joseph's uh, life over your life um, you're a person who um, who understands people and uh, you're a person who's soft and kind and uh, likes to help people out and is a good listening ear uh, for people and uh, encouraging person for people um, you, um, you've got this great heart but you don't seem to have a lot of friends and um, that can um, be um, troubling and, and, and hurtful uh, for, for people. Um, I'm similar um, that I don't have a lot of friends and um, it, it uh, can teach us and lead us to be closer to Jesus and depend on Jesus more. So I pray that uh, Jesus would uh, give you more insight. I pray uh, for a fresh revelation in your life of, of uh, more revelation of who Jesus is, who Jesus was and who he is today. I pray for impartation of uh, the prophetic anointing on your life so that you not only can hear from God but you start to move in such a way that you can give people prophetic um, uh, prophetic words and encourage people. It says that uh, you're a teacher and um, so um, you must be getting revelation already that the Lord likes to reveal things to people that are teachers so I pray fresh revelation into your life. Um, things that um, you can build on um, revelation after revelation uh, that you can build uh, a platform on I, I'd encourage you to even start a blog and start to blog some of these uh, revelations one after another and start to join uh, have a following uh, join you as you start to share more and more revelation about Jesus and the kingdom um, I'd be interested in uh, you sending me a link to the blog uh, but I'd be interested in hearing what the Lord has to say through you. Um, people who struggle and have few friends, um, they're really special to God. 
they are really special uh, friends of God and uh, and so um, even though it can be hard uh, we really do get a better life and a better reward uh, some people have a lot of friends and everything seems to be going well for them and um, but they don't have um, as fulfilling lives as people who are close to Jesus so um, I, um, I, I've prayed for you to have favour and I pray that you get opportunities to preach and you got opportunities to teach and I pray um, for a special friend uh, to come into your life uh, that uh, a new friend, someone that would understand you and be with you and a chosen uh, assignment uh, from God, a chosen Barna, you know, a Barnabas for the Paul, you know, like a Jonathan for the David, uh, someone who's special that will understand you, that's passionate, um, that who, whose life glorifies the Lord, whose life is passionate for Jesus, and uh, just like you. And uh, I pray that person into your life, and I pray that they come into your life within the next few weeks, so that uh, you know that this prophetic word was releasing that and uh, you remember this prophetic word and you say oh there's that person so I pray that person into your life um, I pray um, also um, I, I get that um, you're a person who has a fascination or an interest in end times and you wonder uh, what is the truth of the matter and uh, who, who, for instance, are the two witnesses? And the two witnesses are Enoch and Elijah, Revelation 11. And uh, I don't think, I don't feel they're due to be here for at least 20 years or 30 years. So um, I thought uh, I'd share that with you, seeing as you've got an interest in the book of Revelation. And um, I've spent a lot of hours with the Lord and even met Enoch and Elijah more than 10 times. And um, so I know some of the timetables of God. So I've never done that in a prophetic word, um, shared something out of the book of Revelation. But I, I, I feel that uh, these things uh, concern you and you've got an interest in them. And uh, you've been seeking the Lord for answers. So I hope that they were the answers for you. I pray that um, this blesses you and uh, you can look over it and, uh, and uh, give me feedback. And something I'm asking um, all of the people I prophesy over now is that uh, you seek the Lord and ask the Lord uh, for a prophetic word for me. And under your feedback, um, write a prophetic word. Ask, just ask the Lord, what do you want to say to Matthew? And type out what you feel he says. God bless.